The NFL is on EA Sports, and we are in Silicon Valley at Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here, as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the San Francisco 49ers. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And we are underway from Santa Clara. And the opening kickoff will not be returned as that will be a touchback. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. They'll bring one of the tight ends in motion left. Second down and right back to McCaffrey. And he powers his way up past the 30. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. Back to throw, Purdy. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds him for the first down. Here's Purdy on first and ten. The same target, same result. It's Kittle. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. This duo locked in 14 yards there and a first down. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 44-yard line. McCaffrey running up the middle, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. What a play there by Fletcher Cox to get in and knock him down behind the line. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Purdy looking to throw. That's over the middle and caught by Ayuk. A gain of eight there on the play. And it's third and four now. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. Here comes the seventh play of this opening drive. They've moved it well, but here's third down. Purdy off the play fake. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he's going to have a 49ers first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. Well, they clearly wanted to come out, Charles, and be aggressive throwing the football, and they've been pretty efficient along with that aggressiveness. He's now 4-4 four four on this opening drive. Yeah, and that's led to a fresh set of downs. I like what he's doing back there. You can tell he's at ease, feels good about what he's doing. I think if I'm the play caller, I'm reading that, I'm continuing to let him throw the football. 
Purdy now to throw off the play action. He'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. So the completion good for just three. And that's going to bring up second down. They go play action here, Purdy. This will be caught at Samuel. Touchdown! Debo Samuel, 30 yards. And the 49ers will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. They got to love that. Nine play drive results in six points. That means they're doing the dictating. That means that they've described how the game's going to go. They're playing at their tempo, at their pace. If you're on the other side of the ball, if you're playing defense, defense is not methodical. They've got to go in there and shake things up and create a little havoc. So after the main field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 22. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. But coming through that time and stopping him for a loss was Drake Jackson. Nice play. That's a play to take note of there for the defense. I think in the future, if you're going to try and block him, maybe you get a guard to help double team him and try and steer him out of the play. They should have done it on that snap. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Throwing his hurts. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. In this offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. They go play action with Hurts. That is caught, and he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 17 yards and a first down for Philly. I know at the end of games, coaches always tell us that no one play won or lost a game. But this seems pretty important early, doesn't it? Their, their ability to pick up that first down on third down, I thought that was key. Well, you're already in the hole after the touchdown on the other side. How will you respond? We talk about that a lot, and they responded pretty well there. You go three and out, I think you give up a lot of momentum. You get down two scores, could be an entirely different game. So they've got a nice drive going now. They're in good shape. What's interesting to me is they're also in that spot of the field where you would take a shot. Do you change that up just because you're down a touchdown? Ball on the 39. Here's second down and eight. Burt sets up to throw it. Completes to Zacchaeus. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. Try and run here with Swift. And he's got enough for the first across midfield to the 48. Eight yards, first down as they're able to convert. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. 
Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. Play action. Here's Hurts. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. Here's second and ten. They run out of the gun with Swift. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? On this drive, they're two for two on third down conversions, but they need seven yards here. Here's Hurts to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner. But to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. On first and 10, it's Swift. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. It's caught on the right side at Smith. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. The offense on third down tonight, a perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. And they'll try and run for it with Gainwell. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. Well, they just watched the other team take the ball downfield and score, so they knew that this drive, this opening drive, was on them. And, boy, that was important to pick up that first down there and keep this one going. And they'll go right back to Gainwell here on first down. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. And he's going to have this pretty close to a first down as the tackle is made at the 9 or 16. On third down, here comes Swift. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. I like his focus there because he wasn't thinking about breaking that one big. All he thought about was, I need one. Let's go get that. Ended up picking up two. Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. Steps away. And he can't find a receiver. And he's brought down. That's Drake Jackson burying him and finishing the play. It's interesting, partner, that most defenses try and guard the 35-yard line actively because they think the way kickers are nowadays, about a 52-yard field goal, they're kind of giving up points. But you get even deeper into territory, you get into the red zone, they're going to guard it even more, which means more pressure, more blitzing. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Hurts. And he's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. 
Jalen Hurts on target to Dallas Goddard. And the Eagles are an extra point away from evening this one up. For good reason, quarterbacks want to get the ball to the perimeter to their wide receivers for big plays. But in this situation, it felt like, based on coverage, he knew that he wanted his tight end to have the football, and for good reason. Elliott good on the extra point, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. The previous play, they barely got back to the line of scrimmage. Now they pick up over 30 yards. So the big play gets them across midfield now for first and 10. Play action. Now Purdy. And trying to get it to Samuel, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Reed Blankenship. And the Eagles are going to take over at their own 30-yard line. Uh, certainly not his best throw that time and not a good time to make it, Charles, when they were a nickel with five defensive backs on the field. And that's exactly why you have those five DBs out there. You want extra speed on the field, guys who have ball skills and understand what the passing game can do and gives them a chance to react and make a play on the football, and they take one of those away. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. They'll run the draw here with Swift. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. But first down, Hurts. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Flush to his right. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted until he was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Back to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. I don't care how many times we see it. I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass trade in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Hurts. And his throw here is incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. 
come through with another one here, and they have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. On second down, game well looking for space. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Now whistles at a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. And now they'll take a timeout defensively. After the second down play, they burn the timeout, making them sweat out the final few ticks here in the second quarter. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will do it for this first half. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. A good, tight football game thus far. 10-7 the score as we resume action on EA Sports. And the fair catch signaled for and taken, so they'll begin this third quarter from their 25-yard line. at the line this Philly offense set to go we have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives we've hit a wall so to speak and have hit it hard haven't we because the defense is right now they seem to be a step ahead don't they beating them to the point of attack beating them to the punch these offensive guys are tinkering like crazy what's it going to take to get back on track yeah both sides searching for adjustments so the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. Swift going to try at the middle. And good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. They'll roll him out right. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. So from the 26-yard line, here's a second and five. They will run straight ahead with Swift. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead them to third down. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Here's third and three. Back to throw here. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. Credit the sack to Fred Warner. So Hurts is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. He hit his first. Now this one from 48 yards away. The kick by Elliott is good. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. Well, looking at it from a defensive perspective, that keeps the deficit very, very manageable. You know, all things considered, not a bad job on the defensive side. I would say that you've pointed out something pretty good right there, and that is... You actually have both sides happy with that exchange. You know, happy in quotes, of course. One team, hey, we've kept, kept it within range. 
the other side saying, hey, we put points on the board and did stretch out the lead. Let's see how this one turns out. Yeah, still bottom line, though. Three points for the opening drive of the third quarter. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And their deficit a little wider now than it was at halftime following the field goal a moment ago. But the goal is still the same because you know they want to come out, establish a rhythm in the second half, and get going. Make no mistake about it, though. Kicking field goals, not in their game plan. They need to get the ball in the end zone. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. And they're going to speed things up here. Samuel in motion. They'll go with a touch pass here, trying to pick it up. And he will not only not get the yard he needed, he goes the wrong direction. And they're going to at least line up to go for it here on fourth down. And now the Eagles going to signal for a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Fourth down try. Here's Purdy. Back to Debo Samuel for consecutive catches. And unable to break away. They stop him a few yards shy. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Eagles are going to take over in great field position. On the handoff, this is Swift. And he's got it down to the 28. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here's second and six. Once again, it's Swift. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Oh, that's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. He's got him in. That's Achilles. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. On second down, Swift. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. 55 yards rushing for him now in the ballgame. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. And now the 49ers signal for a timeout defensively. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Here is third down and four. to throw here escaping the pressure right and he's just going to throw this one out of bounds here nowhere to go with it incomplete and here you're down in the red zone you need to be smart not force anything so that's a wise decision to just get rid of the football the kick by Elliott is good and now it's a two score game at nine 16 to seven a second field goal here this third quarter in his third of the game so far. He's been an important part of the offense, that's for sure, and they may need him again before this one's said and done. So I would treat him like a pitcher throwing a no-hitter. Leave him alone and let him focus. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Purdy to throw it on first down. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked off by Isaiah Rogers. And they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. Yeah. 
On first and ten, it's Hurts. And this is caught. It's Brown. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Looking to throw. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. Now a timeout called for by the defense. And that's going to leave them with just one timeout remaining still in the third quarter. We'll see if that comes back to haunt them. We'll be back. This will probably be the last play of the quarter. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Pass taken in by his big tight end. He's going to be out of bounds on what's going to wind up being the final play of quarter number three. It'll be first and goal when we come back. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. take this down just short of the goal line he got three but could not get the ball over the chalk give him three on the gain there second and goal that run didn't get very far and I think when you're looking at his dimensions he's a little bit on the smaller side he's counting on the big guys up front to escort him in and they couldn't create any kind of space for him could they yeah didn't get the push they needed Second down, here's Hurts. Out to the left there and complete to the tight end, Goddard. Touchdown! Jalen Hurts on target to Dallas Goddard. And the Eagles have extended their lead to 15 now here in the fourth. And Charles, they continue to have trouble stopping him as he's into the end zone yet again. Yeah, that's multiple series now that have ended with him in the end zone. A perfect plan on how to utilize him best when they get in close. Elliott on for the extra point. And that will make this a 16-point lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, 
you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Purdy now to throw. Open man is Samuel, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 18 yards, first down, Niners. But correct me if I'm wrong, you know, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. Purdy off the play fake. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And the Eagles are going to have it here just past the 25. If they had designs of kind of wiggling their way back into this one, that hurts their chances right there. They had to put it mildly. But look at the lead. Look at the deficit. Trying to make a play downfield. Everyone seeking to be somewhat the hero. Didn't turn out that way at all, and you're exactly right. It's going to take a lot for them to have a chance to win this one now. On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 66 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. down and they go with Swift again and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage that whole thing was thrown off track thanks to the defense of Fred Warner really nice play sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively speed strength quickness he's the whole package and that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss Sets up to throw it, sliding out of the pocket. And he goes out right around the 39. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. The plan was clearly to challenge them by sending a blitz on second down, but even the extra guys couldn't catch him in the backfield, though. He doesn't scramble for a first, but he does get the last laugh by baiting the blitz and getting beyond the line of scrimmage. The Eagles on third down. They've been tough to stop. Eight for ten so far. This is third and seven. Throwing his hurts. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong. And now it's fourth down critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there that clock keeps rolling has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock really increases their chances of closing this one out now they're likely gonna have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline The Eagles send out their punter now. Always a good sign when your first punt comes in the fourth quarter. And you can't do it much better than that. This ball kicks out of bounds at the four-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. 
absolutely ideal. And from that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the 5. Superb. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. And he'll go out of bounds after getting this across the 15. Trying to find some space to operate, and now they'll have it. A gain of 12, a big first down to get away from the end zone. Out of the gun, Purdy. And this one is incomplete. Give it big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. Now a second and ten. Now Purdy. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked by Kevin Byer, and he is going to bring this back inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And, Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They feel like they've got them not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there. Got a nice interception and set up their offense in great shape. They go play action with Hurts. He's going to be sacked back at the 23-yard line. No surprise there. Chase Young wrecks that play with a sack. And it's never good to take a sack. You really don't want to take one down here in this part of the field down near the red zone. Not at all, because you're already pretty much assured of a field goal. But you take a big sack, it could push you out of range, and that's why defenses get a little more aggressive in this situation. They're almost conceding the three points. They want to push you back and try and take you out of that. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop them here. Here's Hurts to throw. Throw right side, caught by Goddard, the tight end. And he's out of bounds, almost gets to the 10. They do get 12, but they'll be marked short. And that leads to a fourth down. For many teams, the evaluation of tight ends has really changed. We used to wonder about how they would block first and foremost. Now we want to know how these guys can run because we envision them in offenses, catch the ball, how much yardage can they gain after that? And that on display there for a good pickup. Now on fourth down here, that pass knocked away and incomplete. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth. And the 49ers are going to get the football back. Here's first and ten. Here's Purdy. He's going to let it fly. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. That was one they needed to connect on. They're down, but not quite out. So you have to figure, with under two minutes to play, they need to hit on something in very short order. Here comes second down. To throw is Purdy. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. Here's Purdy to throw. Pass complete, Samuel. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. 
One timeout at their disposal, but more pressing is the need for two scores, obviously. Here's first and ten. Throwing, Purdy. Eluding the pressure right. Late in the game, he's certainly doing everything in his power to buy time for his guys to make a play, but in this case, he's surrounded, and all he has room to do is to get back to the line of scrimmage. Inside a minute to go. Here's second and ten now. Purdy to throw. That ball caught. Brandon Ayuk. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up a first down there, and for the offense, they're hoping that that's something that they can jumpstart with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. They'll come up first and ten here. Purdy to throw. And he will find his man, Samuel. And they move this all the way down to the nine. Second down, goal to go. Purdy. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. But we've talked about it, CD, but it bears repeating. They are struggling to throw the football. All the interceptions and more incompletions. It just doesn't look like things are in sync out there. I would agree with that, and it's not a good day when you feel like an incomplete pass is almost a win for you because it wasn't intercepted. And I think the receivers now, when they're running their routes, they want to catch the ball, but they also want to make sure that the defenders don't take it away. And it's caught, and he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. They'll run for it. McCaffrey, and he is into the end zone for the touchdown. So they still need a miracle with a clock where it's at, but they get one piece to the puzzle done. Still have hope. So the touchdown was big. This almost equally big as he'll try to get it to a one-score game with a two-point conversion. And now the pressure gets there, and he goes down. So he couldn't get rid of the football, and that deficit stays right where it is. So time definitely not in their favor. Down two scores, but they'll try the onside kick. And the Eagles are going to recover. And that might be enough to put a bow on this one. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. That one looks like he'll throw here. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Well, the great coach has said football is a really simple game. Rush theirs, protect yours. And he's talking about those guys throwing the football. In this situation, the rush one, hitting the quarterback and forcing him into an incompletion. Second and ten. From the gun, here's Swift. And down to the 36-yard line here. So it's a victory here for the Philadelphia Eagles. And we talk so much about the turnover battle, determining who wins, who loses. This game, no exception. Air-free football, no turnovers at all, and they win it. So this is one you don't have to convince your team that what you're saying is accurate. And you know what I'm talking about. Head coach always stands up in front of the team and says, guys, if we do this, this, and this, we'll win. And usually they say, if we win the turnover battle, we'll win. Well, here's the proof right there. Win the turnover battle, 
go on to victory. Now the guys believe you move on to the next lesson where you have to convince them this one is now planted. That'll do it for us.